Hello and welcome. I'm Clarissa. Thank you for joining me. Beauty, wellness and spiritual guru, which means I love astrology. I love wellness. I love fitness. I love beauty. I love diving in, into topics. So it means you just get a plethora of everything. I just throw it all in. <laughs> but today we're going to be speaking about Uranus retrograde. Um, so that should be really interesting because it's a conversation about society and our collective uh, consciousness. So what is Uranus in astrology? In astrology, Uranus is a planet that represents the unbinding of all structures, beliefs and actions. It highlights our concepts of power and it was reflective in our lives and in our environment. It's generational. So we experienced it together and explored through the filter of our belief. So in mythology, Uranus represents the story of rebellion through action where intentions wanted to grow. Um, Uranus did not want to allow his children to grow and flourish from the womb of the earth as he did not see them equal to himself. So we ended their life before it could even begin to stop the prophecy that he would be overthrown by one of his children. So there's a nice little cycle <laughs> going on there. His actions led to his eventual castration by Cronus, Seb, Jeb, however you want to describe him, um, which when discarded created the most precious offspring, the magnification of love and beauty, Aphrodite, Hathor, Isis, Venus, however you want to name her, creating a new metaphysical di dynamic with spiritual nurture, healing, pleasure, intimacy, harmony, sensitivity, and empathy. So what does Uranus mean in our birth chart? Uranus in our birth chart shows where we are enlightened by innovation and intuitiveness where we desire freedom from previous opposing mindsets that may show up in our environment. It helps to highlight our relationship with breakthroughs to the reactionary process of breakdowns collectively and individually. As our inspiration for awakening, Uranus can urge unexpected changes. It can create shift our mindset from this to that. It can make us pay an attention to something in that given moment. It shows us where ego-led routines interact with our identity, um, re reflection and projection. Um, in some cases, showing us where the unconscious chokehold is that, that wants principles to grow, and they cannot. In the rule of Aquarius, the planet Uranus represents liberation and transformation. It's collected to our, connected to our collective thought process, our responsibility to the collective, creating the beginning adjustments to systems that may already be in place that need opening up as an, as an approach. Um, it shows our actions where our intellect is sparked from our genius mind, our innovation, so what is Uranus in Taurus? Uranus in Taurus highlights our beliefs regarding value, money, beauty, sensuality, and food through the process of change. All those things are related to Taurus. And so when you combine it with Uranus, there's this process of change, process of movement, process of evolving our belief systems in these areas. So readjustment of further deepening what is change? where we've we're seeing in ch we're seeing changes now our foundation in our future structures where people are gaining unexpected value unexpected riches value that would normally appear over a long period of time is suddenly appearing um, another example is the beauty that we're seeing unconventional beauty is showing us how to have appreciation of our society when the picture of society has always been that picture that we're now starting to see, but our appreciation is starting to rise. So that appreciation then adds value to this newer concept of beauty, which has really been what beauty looks like all the time. So we are really having to think about our relationship between our sensuality and innovation. 
how is our emotions and our, our, our concepts of sensuality going to be uh, given to innovation? How is innovation going to be a longer hand regarding how we feel about things? How does innovation reach out to touch another person that we want to connect with? These are the things that technology and our deepened understanding about our collective experience is creating for us. So what does Taurus in Uranus retrograde mean? <laughs> the planet Uranus travels in the retrograde period for about five to six months, and it creates an immense reflection on the, the incidences that we've visited already in those in the year. So if we're having situations surrounding value, we're going to be revising those situations, especially on the collective. We're going to be seeing where there is uh, huge, some huge changes in societies. Some societies may have uh, start to have different uh, leaderships that will now have to interact with the global um, relationships you know how what are the dynamics in those relationships going to be now we're having to change the way we deal with a certain nation uh, individual group subculture all, all kinds of things are these patterns repeating themselves and if they are and we acknowledge them then what changes needs to be taken to make sure that those those cycles don't uh, spin the same way we're just looking at all um, types of issues regarding identity and as that word identity starts to change from an individual concept to a, a collective conscious we start thinking about the identity of who we are and how that foundation of who we are is going to create the next structures systems of security so again uranus um, unexpected makes changes in our belief and our uh, for a sense of powerful awakening so through the you the retrograde we get an opportunity to really understand and acknowledge those new beliefs of what they mean for our future and our identity how they make us feel compared to who we was and who we want to be how they will impact our sense of identity and how will they compare to other people's changing sense of identity so we might highlight situations that um, where there is exploitation of uh, you know someone's value, and that could mean even on an individual sense, just feeling like you've been taken for granted because you're changing as a person, uh, and you don't feel like another person is seeing your value. Um, this could you know, affect the collective uh, in some ways some nations where they have the same sense and they feel valued as an, another nation so they want their voice to be heard they want some balance some um you know issue maybe from the past coming back up and to be resolved so there's this element of fairness and even sometimes unexpected changes unexpected value being given um, but this is also relates to um, exploitation of energy, of food, of Earth's resources, of um, power itself, because again, it is Taurus, it's about the things that we can feel, taste, touch, and sense. So, uh, again, during the retrograde, Uranus, Uranus retrograde, it, on a personal level, it can feel sometimes too easy to lose focus and control. However, this is a perfect time to introduce routines that think years ahead because it's Uranus and it loves to think about the long-term plan and how it's gonna uh, be a benefit for society, be a benefit for the collective. Short-term thinking definitely needs to be written down and added to the bigger picture because those uh, short-term ideas could get overshadowed by the needs of relationships that need to build for years ahead for things that need to be a lifetime thing so you, there may be an emphasis on taking on the larger challenges um you know, families karma love relationship careers all those things that shape who we are that require maybe some closure and some things opening the door to other things because it's the future a time to heal men change again reassess re-evolving re emotional cycles and excellent uh, time to ask ourselves where do the energy of these karmic relations go 
you know, where will they go? What will be our legacy? And what will be our story in a broader sense? What will be our societal history? <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. If you love this video, please like and share and subscribe. And until next time, take care, bye.